Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to boot camp your Mac so that you can run Windows. First things first, just right off the bat, go to your browser, oops, and then search Windows 10 ISO. Here, click the first link, download Windows 10 disk image. Scroll down, select your edition, I'm going to select the latest edition, click confirm. Select your language, so English International for me. Then click 64-bit download. Unless you really need to, then you may want to select 32-bit, but for most people, 64-bit is going to be the way. So after you've downloaded it, uh, locate your file. So in this case, I put it on my desktop, and then open up Boot Camp Assistant. And it's just simple as clicking Continue, click Choose and locate your ISO file. In this case, it was on my desktop. Click open. And then next thing you want to do is select your partition size for your Windows Boot Camp partition. In this case, I'm going to make it about 45 gigs. Uh, keep in mind that after you make your partition, you cannot change the file size. So just make sure you give enough storage for yourself. You can always reinstall your um, Windows Boot Camp, but just, just for the sake of saving a headache. And then after that, click install. And then let it install. And afterwards, it will reboot. And then uh, hopefully, well, it should reboot into your Windows 10 setup. And then I'll see you then. OK, so after you've restarted from uh, your Mac OS, and then you'll be restarted and booted into Windows 10. So now all you have to do is just go through the setup. hit next. Now if you don't have a Windows 10 key don't worry because you can actually just click this button I don't have a product key and I'll let you install Windows anyways. So then uh, I'm gonna select Windows 10 Home you can select any of the others if you so desire. Except licenses. Now make sure you select Drive 0 Partition 4 Boot Camp or whatever partition. Make sure it has Boot Camp in it because you don't want to overwrite something else and hit next and then it will um, install Windows for you and then I'll be back after it's done with this okay now that Windows has finished installing now we just have to finish going through the startup so let's start with this region is this correct yes <laughs> So Boot Camp hasn't installed any Wi-Fi drivers, but once you boot up into the desktop, uh, Boot Camp will install those drivers for you. Okay, then just give it um, your account name, so I'm just going to put user, password. I am not going to use my activity history and then for privacy settings you can choose to either uh, allow this or not allow this. This is your choice. And now that you have gone through the setup process you can now just boot it up into Windows 10 and accept all these agreements and finish up your boot camp installation. Okay, so after you have clicked through the bootcamp installation in Windows, then you'll be uh, you'll have all your drivers installed, and then you should have your um, Wi-Fi um, available, and um, then you should be good to go. And then you can uh, make sure you have to restart your computer. Now, to select whether or not you want to boot into Mac or Windows, hold the Alt or Option key as you boot up and then you can select the, dri the drive that you want to um, connect into and then you should be good to go so now you have a fully working Windows 10 working on your MacBook through Boot Camp and so thank you for watching this tutorial hope that it helped and yeah, see you next time.